Elizabeth Vowell, Greg has the night off. This new mural in the Mid-City area of Baton Rouge raising some eyebrows tonight, but does it go too far? We'll let you decide. Lester Dewey joins us now with this. Lester. Liz, the new art was finished recently and installed at a business located across the street from Baton Rouge High, and the owner of the building says it's here to stay. The front of this building on Government Street may look normal to you, but it's what's behind it that's causing the naked eye to wander. I haven't heard anything negative. That doesn't mean that that hasn't happened. That just means that they haven't come to me with those types of comments. Jane Mitchell purchased this building in 2021 for her marketing company and then began renovations. In this past spring, she thought the back of the place needed a little something unique. Our intention all along is, is to have a mural back here, and so we collaborated with the Walls Project and put out an RFP. The mural is called Eden and was finally completed in mid-June by artists from New Orleans. It features naked transgender people thriving in the Garden of Eden, filled with native plants from Louisiana. The artists wanted to depict trans people enjoying life free of fear and danger. I saw different things. I saw some looks of confusion. I saw um, some... I saw people take selfies with it. I saw people take pictures of it. But some parents who frequent the coffee shop next door have an issue with it. My concern with the art as a Christian uh, woman is that it is depicting an orgy. Katie Alexander believes the art goes too far and is offensive, and she doesn't want her children and others to be subjected to it. If this were inside in a, a bar where older people go in and that, that's a, that's the artwork on the wall inside of a place that you know where adults are allowed, but not on the outside where just everybody can see it. I have a, a huge issue with that. Um, I don't really see the orgy here, but I guess like with with some of the nudity, maybe. Well, I think art's for everyone. Um, I think that art should be provocative, and I think that it should evoke emotions. So I certainly like respect that person's like feelings and their opinion. I don't agree with it though. I don't think that. Alexander says she's even taken her complaints to law enforcement and city leaders. But does a mural cross the lines when it comes to the obscenity laws in Louisiana? Legal analyst Franz Borkhart weighs in. It may be a piece of art that, that somebody doesn't like, but is it obscenity? Is it against the law? I think it would be clearly artistically defended or, or encompassed in the First Amendment, and I don't think that it's violating any laws. Will the art stay up? Uh, yes, I sure hope so. Um, um, I've certainly paid a lot for it. So I hope it stays up. It's, it is a permanent installation, yeah. The woman who took issue with the piece wants the mural taken down now. To read more about the art installation, head on over to our Nine News app. Elizabeth. All right, Lester Dewey for tonight. Thank you.